Hello, so today is February 21st. I'm going to be starting today on another monthly vlog for this YouTube channel, even though I don't even know if I should be calling these monthly vlogs at this point anymore, because they're a little bit more sporadic than monthly. But if you're newer to my channel and you're like, I have no idea what this is or what the heck is going on, I have an entire playlist on my channel of these life more lifestyle vlogs that are just called monthly vlogs that I do from time to time. And so I'll have all of those linked down below if you are interested in more videos like this. I mean, I've been doing monthly vlogs since 2018, but I feel like in the last, uh, you know, year or so, I've definitely slowed down on them and I don't do them as often as I used to, but I'm trying to get back into the habit of doing them again. But anyways, um, the main reason I guess why I haven't been doing these monthly vlogs as much recently is because the winter has been a bit of a struggle for me this year. I think this is kind of surprising to me because usually the winter months end up being some of my favorite. Like, I usually love the winter. I love the cold, rainy weather. I love the moody vibes. But for some reason, this year, the gloominess of this winter and, like, the darkness is just making me unmotivated. And it's, like, the first time ever that I've felt like this during a winter season. Like, usually winter seasons are, like, my jam. So it's kind of completely, like, throwing me off because I'm, like, I don't want to feel this way about winter. And I'm actually really looking forward to spring and summer for, like, the first time in my fucking life. But yeah, I don't know what it is about this year, but it's just ever since December, I've been feeling this way. Like, I'm getting tired of the gloomy days. Like, I just want it to be sunny again, which is so weird. Like, I never say that. But also, I feel like February in particular has been a bit of a struggle of a month for me. I mean, I think it's mostly due to the fact that we got some really terrible news at the beginning of February with my mom. So, we found out at the beginning of February that my mom has skin cancer, which, like, every time I say the fucking word cancer, it literally makes my stomach, like, flip upside down, and I just hate it. And, you know, obviously, it's scary news, right, because it's cancer. But it's, like, I'm trying to look at the bigger picture of things here because the type of skin cancer that my mom currently has is not life-threatening and apparently it's like one of the most common types of cancer that you can even get. I mean, I don't know, I've been doing a lot of research on it and they're always saying like a lot of people can have this many times in their life. It's like one of the most common cancers and it's like nothing to really be too afraid of and I think everything should be okay. I mean, my mom has a doctor's appointment today where she's going in to get a surgery scheduled so that she can get the thing removed, you know, because she has this thing on her lip. Like the only reason we found out about the skin cancer to begin with was because she got this cut on her lip and it just never healed properly and now there's this like little thing growing on her lip and it's just so sad and like ah. and so february has just been um really difficult because we've just kind of had to deal with like not really knowing too much you know we got the call in early february that my mom had skin cancer but then we didn't know how serious it was until they took a biopsy of like the thing and so we were waiting for like a week to hear back like how bad is it and trying to wait a week to find out how bad something is like my mind just spirals very fast you know like I am a very much anxious person and so it was just a long week it's been a long month I'm glad that my mom is getting in really early to get this removed and to get things taken care of I mean I'm hoping she can get her surgery scheduled very soon so that she can get this removed and just be like onto the healing process and I hope that everything will be fine from here on out I'm I mean, the idea of either of my parents ever being in any pain in any kind of way or being unhealthy just it hurts my heart it's really hard to deal with and so i think that's why this uh winter time and this february in particular has been incredibly hard for me to deal with things mentally but i don't know i figured maybe it would get me back in the swing of things if i just started on the next monthly vlog and just kind of documented how this next month ends up going for my family i mean i am very optimistic that things are going to be a lot better for my mom once we get this surgery scheduled and things are planned it's just been a lot on all all of our plates mentally lately and it's just been something we've been thinking about and it's some scary shit you know but it's like it's part of life like what can you do i just hate feeling like things are out of my control and there's nothing i can do about them like i need to learn how to mentally like deal with that <laughs> Hi, I'm already back because it's the same day that I just filmed that update earlier today. I got some crazy news today because, you know, my mom, I was just saying she was going to the doctor today to schedule a potential surgery to, like, get this thing removed. And it turns out um, they were able to book her in tomorrow. Like, they had a cancellation, apparently, and they were able to get her in tomorrow, like, last minute. And my mom is, like, of course, relieved, you know, because, like, she really wanted to get this in and get this taken care of, like, as quickly as possible. And it is good news. But I'm like, holy shit, okay, like, things are happening. <laughs> like, I thought I would have more time to, like, prepare mentally for, like, my mom's gonna have this surgery. I'm just worried for her, you know, because it's gonna be, like, a surgery that could last for a couple of hours. They said it's, like, something where they're gonna have to keep going back in with, like, layers and, like, take breaks in between. My mom's gonna be awake for the entire surgery, I'm pretty sure, which just really sucks. Like, I'm just still, ugh. I just, like, hate the anxious feeling I get when I think about my mom dealing with this. But I am, you know, I am relieved for her that she's gonna get this taken care of so soon because, you know, she's been wanting this 
this to not be an issue for a while and so the fact that they were able to get her in that soon like tomorrow literally I'm like oh okay shit so I did have some uh patreon sprints scheduled for like tomorrow afternoon but I think I'm gonna bump them up to be like tomorrow morning so that tomorrow night I can go over to my parents and like visit with her because my dad's gonna be going with her tomorrow to get the surgery they have to go down to this like town that's like an hour south of us just to get the surgery and because they said it can take like literally all day like they said it could take three to four hours depending i don't know and they're basically like squeezing her in you know just because they had a cancellation like i don't know how it's gonna be but hopefully tomorrow everything goes well and i can update you with some good news and that my mom will be doing a lot better <laughs> rachel made these beautiful homemade cookies just for mom i did daughter of the year <laughs> she even went to the store just to get chocolate chips i need chocolate chips and butter <laughs> wow butter is very important for cookies she will love. These cookies are basically butter chocolate chip cookies. Yeah, you basically need the butter and you chocolate chip. You need one and a half sticks of butter just for 12 cookies. <laughs> wow. So. Yeah, that'll do it. That's a lot. That's quite a bit. What are you eating? That's potato soup. <laughs> Hello, it is the next afternoon. Now it's February 23rd. So yesterday my mom went in and had her surgery at 11 a.m. The good news is that she only had to go in for like 45 minutes to an hour, like one time. She only had one round of the surgery and they said they checked after that and they were able to clear out all of the cancer, like all of the tumor, like anything that was remaining was completely taken out in that first try. So thankfully she is now cancer free and they were able to take it all out on the first try, which was unexpected. Like we thought like they had said they would have to go back in two or maybe three times in that same day Like they said they would take like an hour in between like send her out to the lobby and then bring her back in if they needed to go back in So like we were expecting it to be a very long day for her and I mean in a way obviously it was because it was surgery It was very invasive and so last night me and Rachel ended up going over to the house My dad made her this potato soup, you know homemade and my mom oh my poor sweet mom Like she handled it like a freaking boss, you know But I could tell she was in a lot of pain because not only was it like on her lip over here But I think they also had to go down almost like all the way to her chin she might have a little bit of a scar on her face but i am just so grateful that it feels like the worst is over i mean i know it's going to be a hard couple of days for my mom because i know that the pain is probably going to be really intense as like the numbness starts to wear off you know but i'm just so grateful that she is cancer free it's all cleared out now it's just uh such a relief you know to know that they got all of the cancer out in one go like that's amazing i'm just hoping for the best you know like i'm hoping that now she's on the road to recovery and things are looking up. We originally had plans tonight um, that I was gonna go over to the house and we were gonna have a little movie night, but that was before we knew that she was gonna have surgery literally yesterday. So we rescheduled our plans for maybe later this weekend. I don't know, we're just gonna have to see how she's feeling and if she's like up, up for hanging out, you know, because I can imagine that it's like even hard for her to talk right now because since this thing is like right on her mouth, she probably doesn't want to like agitate it too much. So like, I just told her, I was like, we can just reschedule. Like, just let me know how you're feeling. It's no big deal. Like my schedule's open. <laughs> Chill day here. Otherwise, I don't know. I told myself today that I was trying to like take the day off of like YouTube stuff, but then I feel like I've still been doing so much stuff for YouTube today. Like, why am I like this? I literally can never take a day off. Like, it's such a joke. I'm still sitting over here working on my content calendar for Patreon for the month of March. I'm sitting over here like trying to finish up my book so that when I film my February wrap-up tomorrow, I can include it in the wrap-up. I was just doing so many things today that were like productive and like still for work because I don't know how to take breaks. Like I don't know how to take days off. It's, it's a wild Friday night. I think I'm gonna go lay on the couch and like try to read some more of this while eating crackers and salami and cheese because it's just that kind of night. Get my cute little bowl of crackers and cheese and blackberries and salami. And also look at this candle. It's ginormous. It's actually like so freaking huge. <laughs> Our friends, Josh and Katie, just didn't want this candle and they gave it to us. Like, how nice is that? Oh, wow. Look at yours. Wow, that's a big old, that's a big old bowl. Yeah. <laughs> we got that coffee. Dad got a lucky mocha. <laughs> Whatever that is. <laughs> so hopefully it's delish. <laughs> we'll have to see. Look at this little boy. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, hello. It is now February 29th. Today is actually the leap day. There's been a lot of things going on recently. Like the other day, I went to breakfast with my dad. Good news is that today, my mom got her stitches removed. The other night, I also went over to my parents' house because I was gonna watch Past Lives with my mom and she ended up loving it so much. We both cried a lot. Watching that movie the second time, like it honestly hit me just as hard. <laughs> but anyways, I just got home from the gym. And I also went to the grocery store. This is so funny and so random, but last night I was watching Watching, uh, you know, Jan and Kayla, they just recently did a video collaboration that I thought was so fun. It was like they both read each other's worst books of the year. But anyways, side note, while I was watching Jan's vlog, I noticed that she used this thing called a cold foam creamer. This is from the brand Delight. And I love the brand Delight. I've actually drank a lot of their coffee before, but I had no idea that they made cold foam in a can like this. I saw Jan using it on her coffee in her vlog and I was like, holy shit, I will immediately go to the grocery store to see if they had it. And they did have it. And the more exciting thing too is that they had three different flavors. So I got the caramel macchiato flavor. Dude, I'm so excited to use this. I also was planning like the whole reason why I also went to Safeway today was because I was planning to make like a really nice chicken Caesar salad dinner tonight. So I had to go and get things for Caesar salad because I don't really have anything besides the chicken. So I got like a bunch of croutons. I also got the Ken's Steakhouse Caesar dressing because if I'm remembering correctly, this is one of the best ones. I also had to get, you know, romaine lettuce, of course. And then I also got the Parmesan cheese, but I got the shaved kind because this is like, in my opinion, this is the best kind to use in a salad. It's so good. I also ended up getting a loaf of bread because I really love eating bread with salad. And because I feel like salad's kind of a light meal, it requires something like bread so that I feel full. And I also picked up more avocados. And then of course I got hit with the sweet tooth while I was there. Dude, I have such a dessert addiction. This should be studied. I don't know what it, like every single night I'm like, I need something sweet. Like I need dessert. So I picked up um, the Ben and Jerry's, the Tonight Dough. This one has always been one of my favorite ice creams. And then I also, because I couldn't resist myself, I also got one of the little like slices of cake that they have there. Sorry, Tank just sneezed if you heard that. But yeah, they have this like German chocolate cake slice that they sell at Safeway. Dude, this shit is so freaking good. And I am a sucker for like any chocolate cake related things. Like I'm here for it. This has always been like one of my favorite desserts that they sell at Safeway. So like I couldn't resist. It was only $3, okay? I also found a few things there that I kind of wanted to try that I was curious about. For example, this Chobani flip. Um, I'm a huge fan of Chobani flips. I think that they're freaking great. But I saw this one there called cinnamon French toast that I've never tried before. And I was like, what the heck? That sounds like a really cool flavor. They had Chamberlain coffee there, you know, like Emma Chamberlain, like the YouTuber, they had her coffee, Chamberlain coffee there. This is the Cinnabon latte flavor with oat milk. And it's like in a can, which is so interesting. I have tried a Chamberlain coffee before and I thought it was okay. But when we got it, we actually got like the ground, like coffee beans. And so I wonder like out of a can, if this would be any good, like, I don't really know, but I just thought I would get it so I could try it at some point. But yeah, anyways, that's my little grocery haul. That's my little update. Things have been going pretty well, all things considered. Look at this gorgeous salad. That's my Caesar. That's my little shredded cheese in there. I made some bacon and chicken. It's gonna go in, oh my God, and the croutons. Oh my goodness. Wow, look at that absolute beauty. Oh my God. All right, now it's time for the moment of truth. The cold foam creamer. Look at this, watch this. Oh. It comes out all smooth like. Careful, it's real sweet. Oh, wow, oh wow. Okay, so you see it's not like whipped cream. It comes out all smooth like a foam and then it just like sits on top of your drink. <gasps> Moment of truth. It's good, it's just really sweet. <laughs> wow, no that's good. It's like even more foamy than I imagined it would be, but like in a good way. So I did get the caramel macchiato flavor, but they did have three different flavors. They had French vanilla, sweet cream, and caramel macchiato. But because I like um, caramel macchiatos and I make a lot of coffee, that's basically like a caramel macchiato. I thought this one would be the best foam to get, but they're probably all so good. Tank literally just comes in here next to my setup and he like sits right in front of my camera. <laughs> Tank's like, this is my YouTube channel now. Oh, Tank, we. It's Friday night. We got some Chipotle. Literally drove like 30 minutes. 
just to get Chipotle because you know, that's how it is when you live that far from Chipotle, but I got chicken tacos, which are my absolute obsession lately. Of course, I've got Sprite and then we're gonna be watching The Traders because that's the current obsession. We're on season two. We've only seen two so far. We're gonna be watching episode three and I'm so excited. Let's do it. Just March 6th and I wanted to show you because I recently got a haul of a bunch of little cute like stationary things I got these cute little stationary things because I have really been into my Hobonichi planner recently I've showed it a few times in like a few different videos But I really love the style of this Hobonichi planner especially with like the daily pages and I love being able to use like one you know, photo per page or like one sticker per page, I guess. I've been having the time of my life with my little Hobonichi planner. So I wanted to get more things like this that are like little sticker packets. And like this one is so beautiful. Oh my gosh, there's like just a bunch of like, I don't know, purple looking sunset photos in this one. This one is more like orange themed. So like this one has a bunch of like orange, you know, like sunsets and things. I don't know if you can see that. I'm really excited about these. And then I also got these ones too, which look really cool. They're called like retro story. So these little retro story ones that I got are just so freaking cute. I just wanted to show you a flip through because these ones in this collection, they're all like inspired by Italy or like all of the, you know, images are from Italy, which I just think is so beautiful. Beautiful, and you know because I'm gonna be visiting Italy this fall for the first time I thought it would be really cool to have some of these stickers for my journal And then I also got this collection that is all inspired by like Japan Which like oh my gosh, you know I went to Japan for the first time last year and I just got absolutely obsessed And so I'm really glad that I have this cute little collection of photos like look at that. Oh my god and then this too, like wow, that is stunning. So I can't wait to use some of these in my Hobonichi journal. And then I also got this one. And this one is honestly just a collection of sunsets and skies, which I just think is so beautiful. So I am really excited about these retro story ones. Like I can't wait to use these. But yeah, I've just been really loving using these kind of stickers on like the daily pages in the Hobonichi journal. I don't know, there's something so pleasing about using them. And then I've even printed off like posters for like shows that we're currently watching and I still include them on the page but I really like having these like sky photos on every page I don't know why this is just so satisfying and so beautiful to me so I've been really loving using this Hobonichi journal and then I've also been having a lot of fun with these weekly spreads like I just love the way that I've been doing these look at Tank in his cute little hoodie we had to put him back in the hoodie because it has gotten really cold these last couple of days. I don't know, we've had like weird weather. It's been like snowing on and off, but not enough to stick. But now it's not snowing out today, but it feels like it could be cold enough to snow. But today's been a really good day. I've been doing a ton of stuff today that's like planning stuff. I've been doing laundry. I actually had a phone call today with another booktube friend. We're gonna be planning something really fun for my Patreon in April. Hi, Tank. So it's been all good things. And then tonight, um, Rachel and Obed just went out to the taco truck because they're going to be picking up some Mexican food for us. And then me and my sister are going to be watching the finale of Love is Blind <laughs> season six. And so we'll see about this finale, dude. I don't even know about this season. Like this season has been such a hot mess, but it's definitely entertaining. Like I can definitely say that it's at least entertaining. Look at this. Woo. 
fries. I did get some fries. Starry. Look at this little guy. It's his fourth birthday. Think happy birthday, sweetheart. <laughs> Can you believe he's four? Yeah. He's a pandemic baby and he's four. Hello, hello. It is March 9th. Yesterday was Tank's fourth birthday. I can't believe he's already four years old. But I think the last time that I updated you, I was talking about the Love is Blind finale, which we did end up watching, which was just chaotic. Like, no spoilers for Love is Blind, but like, what the heck even was season six? I will say though, season six was a lot better for me than season five. So tomorrow, it's Oscars Sunday tomorrow, which I'm very excited about. I'm a really big, you know, huge movie and film person. Like, I'm just as passionate about movies as I am about books. And so I am so excited for the Oscars. We're gonna be going over to my parents' house tomorrow. It's gonna be a whole thing. It's always like a big deal. It's kind of like the Super Bowl for me. And so I'm so excited because I've been trying to catch up on all of the Oscars movies before the Oscars are tomorrow. So last night I finally watched American Fiction. Holy shit, this was so good. It was even better than I thought it was gonna be. I gave this five out of five stars. Like I loved it so much. I feel like this is one of those movies that's like the perfect balance of family drama and like satire and comedy but like sad vibes at the same time. The acting was incredible. Okay, Sterling K. Brown is in this, which I don't know why I didn't realize he was in this one. I just love him so much. Like Sterling K. Brown, he is so charismatic. He really like steals the show anytime that he's on screen. And I thought he was fucking great in this movie. Screenplay, oh my gosh, this movie was so well written. And the freaking ending, like they are so ballsy for having that as the ending. Like I love that, I appreciate that. I feel like this movie is so great in the way that it's so self-aware and it really criticizes the publishing industry in such a bold way. It kind of reminds me of Yellowface in that way just a little bit, just with the way that it like talks about the book publishing industry and really calls out not only the lack of diversity, but also just like the way it goes about calling out the lack of diversity. It's just so, it's satire, you know, like it's funny but it's also very real. I just really appreciated it. I thought it was so well done. It has a really great score too. The score is very like jazzy, which I really liked. I don't know, it was just such a surprise. Like I ended up loving American fiction so freaking much. I think it's so relevant and so great. And so that was a lovely surprise. I think tonight we're gonna try to watch Poor Things because that's another one that I feel like I just need to see it. You know, I'm a huge fan of Emma Stone. I'm a huge fan of Yorgos Lanthimos, the director. So that's another one that I've been like, I need to see that before the Oscars. So because like now it's time, the Oscars are tomorrow, so I need to watch that tonight. And also I just got the nicest book mail package from Sarah. Sarah is so kind. She just sent me a package off my Amazon wish list and said that she's been watching my channel for a while. But she sent me Bride by Allie Hazelwood, which like I'm so excited to actually own this now because this is something that I've been wanting to read, even though it's paranormal romance and I don't know if it's going to be my thing, you know, because it's like vampires and werewolves, like I don't know. But because I've enjoyed Allie Hazelwood's romances so much, I just thought, you know, why not give this one a shot? So thank you so much to Sarah. And then she also ended up sending me <laughs> volumes four and five of Killing Stalking. Like what the heck? This is so freaking kind and so generous to send me all three of these things. Like I really appreciate it. I'm really hoping that I can fit Bride somehow into my March TBR plans. Like I would love to get to this one this month, but if not, like I'm gonna try to read this as soon as possible. And honestly, like Killing Stalking, I might just get started on these tonight. Like I am so excited to continue in this series. I love how these ones have to come wrapped because they're is like such explicit content in these <laughs> that they have to wrap them so that like people can't just like flip through this in a bookstore, you know? <laughs> Look okay, at mom's got the whole setup. <laughs> no book. No book. How cute. Isn't that cute? No book. I know. <laughs> and it's one of my favorites. So cute. And it's a Washington one. Aww. Yeah, Columbia Valley. Wow. And we have to go there too, babe. Dude, these are so cute. Aren't they? Oh my god. Yeah. These napkins. I got this at our little village. Cute. And the, oh, I was looking. I was looking for an actual statue and paint it gold. Yeah. But hopefully by next year I will. That's I had so one cute. before, but it got broke. So. Aww. Yeah. Whoa. This is empty for someone else. To wow. Get it, but I put yeah. it. Oh, a little so. coke and spray. Yeah. How cute. You wanna be balloons? <laughs> they were too hard to blow up. So wow. that's as good as it gets. This is so cute. And pop the champagne. <laughs> Which movie are you reading for tonight? The one that wins. <laughs> Oh, I didn't see you saw, a lot you saw of the them. holdovers, right? I like. You liked the, it. Uh, it was okay. 
What? But okay, you watch Past Lives with me. Yeah, I but like Past Lives. But what's like, the other one that uh, Robin Williams was in? That was oh, Dead Poet Society. I like that one better. Oh, Sorry, okay. that's fine. Sorry. <laughs> you like Barbie? I love Barbie. Yeah, kind You've of seen my a few of them. Kind of my my hood when I was growing up. Oh yeah. She was born the same year as me, by the way. Just oh. saying. So we go way back. You heard it here first. <laughs> Barbie. Yeah, she's from 1959. Twins. Yeah. Where's my mom? <laughs> 1959. Oh, yeah. Let's go. Wow. Peace out. Look at Peace that. out. I'm so excited. <laughs> so who are you rooting for? I know. I don't know. This is like the best lineup of best picture noms yeah. I've seen in years, and we got personally. This. Every year, I get the girls to put out their... Yeah, Rachel, Rachel made this uh, like Oscar ballot yeah, sheet for us, course, so we yeah. have all the different nominations and we put our predictions for who we think will actually win and then who we want to win, because sometimes those are different, you know? Yeah, and then, well, the mom saves stuff, you know? Yeah, uh, mom's got our prediction ballots It's my from childhood, <laughs> too. <laughs> Ten years so, <laughs> so, and then, you know, I just kept all, all of them. Wow, look at that. Both both girls Laminated went on one too. side, went on. Yeah, I put them in the book because mom says everything. Yeah, oh, they're cute. Wow. Yeah, Rachel's yeah. Are, are always so nice. Rachel, and then mine's just like. <laughs> she's been a writer, you know, designer for I don't know how long, but yeah. that'll go in the book too. So Yeah, exciting. It's nice. You got to make the most of these times. So we can see how much it. we were wrong every year. Yeah. <laughs> well, this year I've seen seven out of the ten Best Picture nominations, and I feel good about six of them. Like, I wasn't a huge Oppenheimer, Oppenheimer fan. I'm so sorry. I didn't I didn't like Oppenheimer. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Oh, bye. Which, which movie are you rooting for this Oscars? A lot. <laughs> Barbie, Holdovers, <laughs> Past Lives and Poor Things. Mm-hmm. In Anatomy of Fall. Yes. Yeah. I also loved American Fiction. I just watched American Fiction the other night. Yeah, I saw your oh, it was Instagram. so good. Yeah. It was so good. And yeah, and then we just watched Poor Things. We literally just watched Poor Things last night. Me and my sister. Oh! Dude, it was so weird. I'm, I'm, I'm not good at watching things before, but when I start <laughs> seeing all the noms and what's going on with Oscars and hearing all this stuff, then yeah. that's usually my deciding factor if I'm going to watch. I mean, depending on what wins tonight, I'll, I'll have to figure out if there's anything left I need to see. Yeah. Hey, my sweet girl. Oh, my sweetheart. I'm so hungry. <laughs> I have to go host the Oscars. <laughs> <laughs> this is everything. <laughs> so Ryan Gosling just performed Ken, or what's it? I'm, I'm just, I'm Ken. just Ken. <laughs> and it, it was, was so amazing. cute. It was so cute. The energy was un unmatched. Dude, this Oscars is going incredible so far. Almost everything that I've been wanting to win has been winning. Almost everything that I've been predicting has been on point. I mean, poor things has been winning even more than I thought. I mean, Barbie hasn't won a single thing, and that's yeah. yeah, Barbie's but it's yeah. Barb yeah, Barbie's getting a little bit shut out, which is unfortunate. But, but poor things and Anatomy yeah, of a Fall. And I know screenplay went American to American Fiction. Fiction and Anatomy of a Fall, which was so exciting. I'm so happy to see American Fiction winning. And then uh, same with like supporting actress. Went to Dave Vine. Oh, that was amazing. That was beautiful. Yeah, that was Robert so great. Robert Downey Jr.'s speech was really funny. Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. I don't know. It's just been going incredibly well so far. I mean, we still have a lot of the big categories remaining. So like, we'll see. I mean, I I have a feeling Oppenheimer's about to like win a lot of the major categories, but I mean, we'll have to see. I don't know. But so far, it's been a great show. I feel like Jimmy Kimmel is doing a great job. <laughs> Yeah. He's amazing. Yeah, That's and he's amazing. like genuinely funny without being like offensive, you yeah. know, which I feel like is hard to do these days. Also, Godzilla winning visual effects. Yeah, oh, that was like really That was the best! Yeah, speech. Yes, yeah, that was speech. So, so cute. It was so was sincere. I loved, that so. Darling. It's going very well. We'll have to see how the rest of the night goes. Oh. Yeah. Emma Stone! Oh. What an icon. <laughs> Oh my god. It is the day after the Oscars. Yesterday was so much fun. Even though, you know, Oppenheimer did end up winning a lot of the big awards of the night. You know, like best actor, best director, best picture, and all of that. Which I was a little bit sad about just because I wasn't the biggest Oppenheimer fan personally. But I do understand why it won. But I was really excited to see Poor Things ended up winning so many more than I was expecting. And me and Rachel, we actually just watched Poor Things like the night before the Oscars. And I'm so glad that we watched it because it was definitely a weird movie. But like that 
that director, Yorgos, like he is just such an incredible director. Like he is so awesome. All of his ideas are just so unique. And I can honestly say like, I've never seen anything like that movie before. I think Emma gave such a great performance and I'm so excited to see her win best actress last night. Well, me and my sister are about to do our troop talk, which is like a Patreon live show that we do together once a month where we just kind of like hang out. So we have 22 minutes to do this. Yeah, it's, so, it's, I, a, long, oh, I it's, a, it's a long time. Do I just shout the titles at you and you type them in? Or how does this work? Uh, yeah, and then we can like look through by. Let me back this up a little bit so you can see the albums. And this is I so know. dumb. <laughs> story it's story. probably because it's either something you thought you already said or like it sounds so similar to other songs like like Long Live, Last Kiss, like our song. Do you know, do you know the three that we're trying to think of right now? Is it, again, cheating? like I can't remember because it just slips <laughs> out of my head. Like I'm Marjorie. Like, Marjorie. Bruh. Are you fucking with me? <laughs> that one I knew and I knew one of the debuts. No. You have I'm only me when I'm with you, right? Oh, I'm only me when I'm with you. That's definitely one of them. Or is it dogs? God damn it. <laughs> what the fuck? We have our song, right? Okay, yeah, our song's on there. Um is the beginning and the next word starts with a P. It's not a perfectly good. A place in this world. A place yes. in this world. Fucking god damn it. It's Don't. two words and it starts with an S. Yeah. Stay beautiful. Yep. Stay beautiful. <laughs> yeah. In a pinch, Rachel got get, get that. I mean, oh, we had bitch. we had hints. Okay, we had hints. Oh my gosh, the chat is probably so angry with us. <laughs> Literally. Okay, hello. It is March 12th. I just wanted to show you because I have been starting on a new skincare routine. I mean, starting today, technically. Because like last week, I was hosting some reading sprints on Patreon and I was kind of talking about this. I was asking for skincare advice because I've never been the kind of person to have a skincare routine. I've actually been really lucky that I've had pretty good skin for my 29 years of life, but I'm gonna be turning 30 next year. And I'm like, I need to start getting a better skincare routine, especially because during this winter, like my skin has never been drier than it has been this last winter. There's literally like the Sahara desert right here between my eyebrows. And so I was asking for advice on Patreon. I was like, what should I do for skincare? I don't really know. My sister gave me a bunch of products that she wasn't using, like different like toners and like moisturizers and things that I could use. So I've started using a few which is why I'm like breaking out a little bit because she did say you know like if I haven't really been using anything and then I use like a lot of product at once I'm probably going to start breaking out before it gets better but the whole point is that I need to start using moisturizer on my freaking face because it's so dry I mean I'm usually the kind of person that like I will wash my face with like CeraVe one time like at night when I usually I'm the kind of person that showers at night before bed so I usually wash my face with CeraVe in the shower before bed and then sometimes I would apply like a moisturizer to my face but only if I felt like I needed it but now I'm trying to get into the routine of actually like moisturizing my face twice a day like once when I wake up and then once after my shower before I go to bed at night and so I'm still using the CeraVe I actually just got this one from Target about like two weeks ago now and I've been really liking this one it's really soft on my skin and then I asked my friend Brittany for some advice when it came to you know skincare products because she's very knowledgeable when it comes to these different skincare products and she recommended me these two different Korean products and so I'm gonna be trying these out today and seeing how they go this first one is this one called advanced snail 96 mucin power essence this one oh my gosh the liquid in here looks very thick it just says that you're supposed to use this before your moisturizer because this one's like a serum i guess and then i think they said oh wow this is really soft oh okay and then you just rub it all over your face and both of these are like korean skincare products which i feel like probably have to be some of the best right <laughs> oh wow yeah that feels very nice Sorry, my face is so red right now because I just came out of the shower and I like it hotter than a bitch when I'm in the shower. Wow, that one feels really good. It feels really like light on my face too. Like it doesn't even feel like I'm wearing any product, which I think is a good thing. And then I ended up getting this moisturizer that she recommended. This one's called the Soon Jung. And this one says it's two times barrier intensive cream. I think she recommended me this one specifically because I said I have really dry skin and I need something that's gonna moisturize my skin. It says you don't even need bigger than like the size of a pearl. I had definitely grabbed a little bit too much. But let's do it. Oh, oh my gosh, this one's really soft too. Oh, those both feel so good. Like I've been wearing a few different moisturizers over the last few days, like just testing a bunch of different products that my sister gave me. But this one feels really good. It feels like the most uh, light on my face. Like I don't feel sticky. I don't feel like I'm wearing product, which is nice because some of the other ones can't say the same. <laughs> Anyways, I would love any advice um, if you have any advice with, when it comes to like skincare products because I am so new to this whole thing that like I don't really know. I mean, I do have this other one that's like a toner that my sister gave me that she wasn't using and this one's like really like it's just liquid. So I don't know if this is something that I can use with this serum or if this would be something that I use 
in replacement of this. Like, I don't really, I don't fucking know anything. So let me know if you have any uh, skincare advice, if you have any products that you would recommend. I've also been using a lot of the uh, Aveeno eczema therapy because my arms, dude, oh my gosh, like on my upper arms, I've had some persistent eczema that has not gone away since December. And it's so annoying because, you know, I never get dry skin. I never get eczema like this bad. I mean, usually if I get an eczema flare up, it's something that only lasts for like, <laughs> I don't know, a week or maybe two definitely not three months worth of eczema in the same spot. It's like the most stubborn eczema I've ever had and it's on both of my upper arms and it just won't go away. So I've been using this Aveeno eczema therapy, which is honestly like my favorite. I love Aveeno products on my skin. And I'm just kind of like, ugh, I'm over it. I'm like, what is it gonna take for this eczema on my arms to go away? It's been months, I'm tired. I'm hoping like once we get some warmer days and my body stops being so dry all the time in the winter, I'm hoping that it'll help. But I don't know, any any advice that you would have with those kinds of things is welcome because I know nothing. Anyways, um, me and my sister this morning, we went grocery shopping to Winco and to Costco and it took all morning, but we're gonna be making breakfast for dinner tonight, which I'm so excited about. Makes me feel like a kid when we have breakfast for dinner. She's gonna make like some really good French toast. We're gonna have bacon and eggs and potatoes. Oh my God, it's gonna be a whole thing. I'm so excited. And then we also might go ahead and get started on the Traders, but the UK version, because I realized that that one is also on Peacock. And because I flew through the first two seasons of The Traders, like the US version, I'm like, well, now I need something else to watch and I need to see the UK version. So that's the plan. It makes me stay away from having soda. Look at that. Oh, Stunning. You know, this is chef's quality <laughs> breakfast for dinner right here. Damn. He loves this toy that my mom got him for his birthday. He's obsessed with it. Come on, Tink. Recently got this uh, Chamberlain coffee from Safeway. It's worth a try. I don't even know really what to expect with this. I'm not gonna sip it right out of the can because that feels wrong to drink coffee like this. So I'm just gonna pour it into a glass. <laughs> it's a little darker than I was expecting. Like a splash of oat milk. I know, like a splash of oat milk or what the heck. Like this filled a lot more of this cup than I was expecting it to. All right, well, let's give it a roll. This looks way too dark. I already know this is gonna be too much for me. Oh, okay, it's not as bitter as I thought it would be, but it's like the cinnamon bun tastes like <laughs> like artificial weird cinnamon. Ugh. Yeah, I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like that. Oh man. Look at all these freaking books. <laughs> okay, I just finished filming my book unhaul. Like, bro, <laughs> there are so many books. Oh. Hello, I just got back from the gym and when I came home, there was like a ton of book mail with packages that I'm not entirely sure what these are. So I thought I would open them with you. Tonight, I'm really excited because we are going over to my parents' house because my mom wanted to watch the Love is Blind reunion with us. So we're gonna be doing that at the house tonight, but we're also going to be getting our flights for Italy tonight because my mom and her best friend, Diana, are gonna be going on the Italy trip and then me and Rachel are also going on the Italy trip. And so we haven't bought our flights yet. So we're gonna be doing that tonight as well, which I'm so excited about. Ooh, wait, what is this? The Kiss Countdown. <gasps> Dude, this looks so cute. Oh wait, I do remember this. I do remember this. I requested this because this man is an astronaut. The kiss countdown. Dude, this is so cute. Is this not the cutest thing you've ever seen in your whole life? Wow, thank you to Berkeley Romance for this one. What is in this mysterious navy blue package? Ooh, it smells good. Oh, oh, oh my gosh, it's the new Alex Finlay. This one, If Something Happens to Me by Alex Finlay. This one goes on sale in May. I have a suspicious Amazon package that I'm not too sure what this could be. Is it something off my wish list? Oh my God, it's Cherry Magic. Who sent this? 
Oh my gosh, it's from Claudia. How sweet. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting because I have been wanting to read Cherry Magic ever since Gavin talked about it in one of his reading vlogs. It just looks so cute. It's like a boy's love manga. It looks adorable. So thank you so much, Claudia. Holy oh, sweet girl. She's like, hell no. She hates her. Yes. No. Back from here. I'm back. Girls. Come back. Give him a hug. Come on. Give him a hug. Sunset on jet skis. Yeah. All right. Well, we. So, how do we feel about the leather jacket with? The green pants? I don't know how I feel about it. I just threw on a black kind of like crop top shirt and then my green pants, which I haven't worn in like literally forever, but I feel like they're high-waisted enough that I can get away with wearing the crop with it. And then the leather jacket because tonight I'm gonna be hanging out with my friends Josh and Katie for Katie's birthday, which was yesterday. And I haven't had like a reason to wear the leather jacket in so long. I also paired it with one of my uh, necklaces from Ana Luisa because I feel like it just really ties it all together, you know? But anyways, last night we ended up going over to my parents' house because we were watching the Love is Blind reunion together. But then we were also trying to get our flights to Italy last night. And it was kind of an epic fail, I'm not gonna lie. Like last night did not go to Plan. Because okay, we had our eyes on this one flight that we were really thinking about doing to Italy But the thing that's kind of hard about this Italy trip is the fact that we are flying into one airport and then flying out of another airport So we can't get round-trip tickets. So this one flight that we were looking at it was with United Like United is one of my favorite airlines to fly with. It's how I went to Japan Like I love that airline And so there was one particular flight that we were eyeballing that we really wanted to get yesterday And just a few days ago like literally two days ago This flight cost $598 and we were like, oh my god, amazing Amazing. And then literally last night when we went to go book it, the flight had bumped up to $1,300. Like it literally doubled, it more than doubled in just two days. I'm like, what is going on? And so we decided not to book it last night. We're gonna wait it out and try to see if that price drops because the prices have been fluctuating so much with flights recently. They've been dropping super low and then getting super high again. So I'm hoping that there's another drop because once that flight gets below $1,000, I'm just gonna book it. But anyways, it's kind of annoying because last night didn't go to plan because we didn't end up getting our flights, but like, it's okay. You know, the trip is until October. I feel like we were just trying to get things done ahead of time, but it's fine. Like we have until o literally October to book these flights. And then the Love is Blind reunion ended up being a little bit of a hot mess, but it's about like what I was expecting. I don't know. But it it was fun to go over to the house and to watch the Love is Blind reunion with my mom. It was a good time. And then something that was a little bit disappointing last night is that Casey Musgraves had her new album drop last night that I was really looking forward to because I'm a huge fan of Casey Musgraves. Golden Hour is one of my favorite albums of all time. And then Starcrossed is her most recent one before this that I really enjoyed. Like I really love Starcrossed, but I don't know this new album, Deeper Well, that she just dropped last night. I listened to the whole thing and I just thought, I mean, it's fine. I'm not really obsessed with like any of the songs right off the bat, which kind of sucks. I mean, it's not like it's a bad album. Like I saved a few songs. I mean, my favorite is probably Anime Eyes if I had to pick a favorite. Like I really adore that one. But overall, I'm just kind of disappointed. Like I really thought that this was gonna be like a new favorite album and I just feel like it's okay. I don't know how much I'm gonna be listening to this though, to be honest, especially, you know, compared to last week when Ariana Grande's new album came out. Like I am absolutely obsessed with that album. And so I thought that I would have the same love for this, but I just don't, which is kind of unfortunate. But I was really happy that V from BTS, he actually dropped a new song last night called Friends. And it's just like a random song that this man just dropped because you know, he's literally away in the military right now and they're still dropping new music. And I really like the song Friends that V just dropped last night. So that was definitely a highlight of the night was this new song. I really enjoy it. I feel like his voice sounds so good in this song. Anyways, those were my negative updates that I didn't really care for the new Casey Musgraves album and that breaks my my heart to say out loud and then that we weren't able to get our flights yesterday even though we were planning on it but don't worry we'll get those flights soon I know we will anyways I'm getting ready to go and hang out with my friends Josh and Katie I'm really excited because we're gonna be going to this place tonight called Aslan Brewing Company I think it's like a restaurant or bar I'm not entirely sure but I've never been there before so that should be cool and then we're also gonna be hitting up this bowling alley that I've also never been to before <laughs> Oh, 
the afternoon of March 16th. Last night, it was so much fun to go out with friends. We went to this place called the Aslan Brewing Company. It was like a really nice restaurant and bar. I got a raspberry rhubarb cider, which I haven't had before. It was kind of sour a little bit, but it was also really good. And dude, their burger there was so good. I got waffle fries. Oh my God, it was amazing. And then we went to the bowling alley afterwards. We were gonna try to go to this really nice one downtown, but they only had 16 lanes. Like it was a really small bowling alley. And so instead we ended up going to one of the more local ones that has like a lot more lanes there. And it was so much fun. We got to play some of the arcade games as well. Like it was just a really good night. And then today, it's just been a really fun Saturday because tonight I'm having my Taylor Swift Eras Tour watch party with all of my Patreon members. Oh, gonna be so much fun. I got the friendship bracelets on as one does. I have the Eras Tour concert shirt. I also, I haven't poured it yet, but I'm gonna pour myself this little pink lemonade margarita because, you know, why not? This thing is 12.5% alcohol. So hopefully I'll be able to drink this slowly <laughs> throughout the concert experience. I think it's gonna be so great. I've got my uh, Roku, you know, set up on the TV here so that I'm gonna stream the concert this way and it's gonna go into my headphones so it's gonna be incredible there's some people joining on my patreon that like are not the biggest Taylor Swift fans or like they're not that familiar with her music and like they don't really know her concerts that well and I'm like ah, I'm so excited that they're still gonna be joining and that they get to experience the Eras tour for the first time with me I'm very excited about this it's gonna be a great night let's try it shall we you know the really uh, devastating thing about tonight though is that I went and got um, yakisoba noodles from my favorite place in town and it seems like the owners have changed because I didn't recognize the guy that I always like, it's always like this one guy like running this whole show and the guy wasn't there. And I'm like, dude, this is so sad. It was two new owners. Like I didn't recognize either of them. They started to change up the restaurant already in there. And then the devastating news is that the yakisoba wasn't even as good as the old one. Dude, I'm so upset about that because for real, that yakisoba was my favorite spot. And I would compare every other yakisoba to that place. And the fact that that place now has different owners and they changed the yakisoba. Like, are you fucking kidding me? I'm so upset about it like that is enough shit to like ruin my day but you know what we're gonna pull through with a margarita and taylor swift <laughs> okay let's give it a whirl oh wow <laughs> that is um definitely there's alcohol in there i can taste that holy crap yeah it's strong it tastes strong but it's good yes dude cruel summer is such a banger her bridges are so iconic mm. <laughs> i love you gavin we could never be enemies it's not in it's not in the cards for us <laughs> <laughs> Hello, <laughs> dude. This would happen to me during orientation. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? Play, bitch. <laughs> I'm about to get so angry. Oh my god. Hello. <laughs> what is going on? I didn't need more of a break. <laughs> the air is torn of the ring. Oh my god. Are you serious? Hold on. Okay, let me let me back out and then. Dude, if it gives me an ad again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cancel my Disney Plus. Oh my God! <gasps> Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh my God! Fucking shoes, Goosebumps! I got an ad. Oh my God! Are you fucking kidding me? It's literally cursed. Except when I'm on TV. Dude, her hair, her hair. Oh my God! I am unwell. <laughs> I am dead. Me dead. <laughs> Me. That's a real fucking legacy. Hello, it is now March 17th. It's St. Patrick's Day, so happy St. Patrick's Day. I just grabbed an apple out of the fridge because apples are literally like my favorite snack right now. But anyways, last night was the watch party, like the Eras Tour watch party. And that was probably like the most fun I think I've ever had doing a live show. Like it was such a good time. Even though Disney Plus was kind of a little bitch and it gave me a lot of issues, like freaking Disney Plus, it kept giving me the ads. And then when it would go back to the concert, the screen, would just go completely black and it would freeze and then I kept having to like exit out and then try to get back in and every time I would get back in it would give me more ads like how freaking rude Disney plus of course they had to give me ads the second like as soon as tolerate it ended and reputation was about to start like the era would give me an ad right there like how rude like they all know what we're here for we're here to see reputation okay <laughs> so that was a little bit annoying but it was such a great night like it was genuinely so much fun that group of humans that I watch movies with often on my patreon like they are just the best like they are so cool they're so much fun but anyways i wanted to wrap up this monthly vlog because i feel like it's starting to get pretty long i'm probably gonna go lay in bed and try to edit some of this today but thank you so much for watching i'm so glad that i finally got to film another monthly vlog
of you know because it has been a while since I posted the last one. I do hope to continue to film monthly vlogs, but I also, I only want to film them if I feel like I have enough going on in my life where I can like show you and take you around and do stuff with you. Because sometimes I do think the day-to-day -day things are kind of boring. Well, not like boring, but like they're just things that I can include in my normal reading vlogs, but I do like the monthly vlogs to have something that's like outside of reading that I'm also doing. I also appreciate you coming on this journey with me, you know, because I feel like February was a really difficult month and you know, like with my mom's cancer thing, it was really scary to have to deal with that. But so far, March has been going so much better than February, like it's not even funny. So I hope that your March has been going well so far and I'm hoping that the rest of this year can be looking up, you know? Because February and January, it was not a good start to the year for me. It was just a really tough couple of months. I'm really hoping, you know, as we get closer to spring, like I can already feel my mood starting to lift as we get closer to spring. Like the fact that we have all of the windows open right now is incredible. Like we haven't been able to like have the windows open comfortably without it being freezing in this apartment for months. So like, that's a huge, amazing thing to look forward to. And for the first time in my freaking life, I'm actually really looking forward to the spring and the summer this year. So hopefully it'll be great. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching another monthly vlog. I really do appreciate you. And if you are thinking about traveling later this year, I just wanted to mention it one more time. If you haven't heard, I'm gonna be hosting a trip to Italy this October and both my mom and my sister are gonna be joining me on this trip. I can't freaking wait, dude. I only have 12 spots left on the trip. So if you're thinking about joining now would be the time if you have any questions please feel free to reach out to me personally if there's any questions or concerns i will have the link down below if you want to go and check it out it's going to have the full itinerary all of the activities that we're going to be getting up to it's for sure going to be an incredible week i can't wait i've never been to italy it's going to be so much fun but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you very soon with another video bye